So, on a banshee clutch, I'm, I'm gonna go all the way. When you pull your lever, let me get over here. When you pull the lever, it pulls the cable, right? I know you know this, but still. So here's a new cable I'm gonna put on. The other end's the lever. When you pull the lever, this cable gets shorter. It pulls in like that. It pulls this arm right here on the other side of the engine and turns it like this. When that flat spot goes like this, right here it pushes this rod towards the clutch this rod is in here so you pull the cable twist that flat spot that flat spot pushes this out like that it's got the little bearing on here and it pushes here on the pressure plate It pushes it up off of these steels and fibers here. It, it, it makes it go like this to exaggerate it to where it spins in here. This outer clutch basket with the gear on it always turns when the engine's turning. When it's running, this is the primary gear. It's on your clutch basket. That clutch basket's always spinning. It's not grabbing the shaft. What grabs the shaft is the hub. The hub is connected to this front transmission shaft called the main shaft or the uh, input shaft. So these two can turn and with the clutch apart or pulled out, this will spin by itself. When it locks back up, these fibers and metals alternating in here, they just alternate, a fiber, metal, fiber, metal. And with the springs, with the springs here, that right, right here, it pushes these together real hard to where it makes this hub drive. That's what drives the transmission. That's what makes you, that's what makes you move. That's what makes you go. I've got Another banshee over here, he had a flute right here on a clutch basket brake. This is a Grafton kit. I just got this out to show it to you. I'll grind the old one apart, then put these buttons in here. These black rubber cushions will go in, then this plate, then I'll red lock tight these screws. And the see these four holes so I gotta I gotta put the old gear back here onto the new basket but that's a different job over here this one he lost you couldn't adjust it I'm gonna add at the end of the video how it's adjusted this has all been ground on where it pushes here that ain't no good you need a new one nice fresh good edge. I went ahead and got the new uh, push rod here. Went ahead and got a new bearing. Went ahead and got the new o-ring. This is a water passage. Got the new o-ring for here. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm putting a new clutch in it along with this actuating arm is new. The push rod is new. This bearing is new. I can get it together. Get the new clutch cable on it. This one, his old one here is pretty bad. It's got a lot of drag to it. And rather than spending two months trying to clean it out, you know, with a cable uber, it's just time. These banshees are doing nothing but getting older. It's time just to put a new cable on it. And that's what this I've got here is a new cable. 
and you ask, well, how free should it be? So the cable's just laying here. You can move it very easily. A new cable has like zero resistance. So here's the new cable. Out here goes up to the handlebars. The part that goes down, I taped it right here to the old cable. And that way, I don't have to worry about threading it and monkeying around. I've got the old cable out here. I can just pull it and work it. And, uh, Anyway, that other video quit on me prematurely, but here's the new cable. Here's where I've got it taped to the old cable. So you just kind of, you don't pull hard or you pull it apart here where you taped it, but you just gingerly work it. And I got the new cable right here. I just got to untape it. Bam, I'm set up. And the new cable's already all threaded through there for me. Okay, now I've got my arm down in here. I put the cable in. You bend that flap down to where the cable can't come out. This little bracket goes behind that little flange on the cable. That way the cable's locked. It can't come this way and it can't go that way with this nut holding it down. So you're good there. And of course you got your spring right here and you got it in front of this peg on the engine right there. That creates like this, where it comes back this way. And the cable doing that is fine. It pulls through when you get it adjusted. So that's how that part of it goes. Now his old adjusting rod was torn up out here on the threaded end. You can see the new one from Yamaha has more threads anyway. It screws in to that. This fits in there. That threads into it. That's how you adjust your clutch. With a lock nut on it. In and out on the rod. And also, when you're putting that arm in, when you're putting... Let me get it here. You have to put this in before you try to put this in and assemble the clutch because then that's not going to go in. <laughs> so you got to put the you got to put this in first, this in next, then you put your clutch together. Now we put the let me show you again right quick. There's the ball. push rod then the ball then this goes in let me set you down a minute So the pressure plate right here butts all the way up against this fiber plate. There's no gap right here. You can put this pressure plate on wrong. Like this. Even though you're on. See it's not going. You just turn it till it does go. Until you find the combination where it fits. Let me see here. I like that. It said it goes all the way up. That's what you want. I've just got two springs in it loosely now, just snugged up, just to hold it together. Now we're going to put the cable on. You want to screw this all the way out to where there's as much room in there as you can make. Screw this all the way out towards you like this. Now I've already hooked the cable in the lever because it's hard to do trying to hold the phone and do it. 
screw this adjuster all the way in that way and back it up to where you can get both your slots lined up right here put the cable in the lever and then just pull it over and put it in now we got the cable in and of course see it's way out of adjustment now I'm going to screw this in to get the correct adjustment. Now, here's a lock nut that'll go right here when I'm finished. I screwed this in until I felt it getting tight. I backed up a little bit. See this arrow? right here on the case where the screwdriver's at. Yamaha will tell you to line these two up. Well, that's a lie. I promise you, that's a lie. You tighten it up and get it, this arrow on your lever will be back more this way, just like it is here. The whole idea, what you're after when you're adjusting it right now is making it to where you have adjustment up here on your lever. Right now, that feels like it's adjusted about right. I could loosen it just a little bit. Uh, as a clutch wears, it comes together. And the cable gets longer, so it tries to tighten up and burn itself out. So you gotta keep slack you got to keep slack in your lever as your clutch wears by adjusting this. I have, I have decent, so I'm going to leave it like it's where it's at. And uh, the problem is, if you line these up, in other words, if I go there and make that screw looser, to where these two arrows, I'll get right on top of it best I can where these two are lining up. Then you gotta screw this way out here to get your cable right. Then you got no adjustment. So that's baloney. You just do it. When you're putting this together, bottom line, get it to where your lever feels about like how you want it, but have you a little movement here to go a little bit farther in. Leave you a little adjustment there. You put it out here and put it together and screw it way out. You got it all together, you got oil in it, then you realize your mistake, then you got to take the cover all back apart over here and kind of start over. But that's pretty much it. I'll put this lock nut on it. I'm going to loosen that just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more slack in it so it'll have, so I'll be guaranteed to have slack, or he will, as his clutch wears. As these fibers wear, this space gets narrower. That effectively makes the cable get tighter. So you gotta loosen the cable up as you go. So I'll hold this with the 12 and this with the Phillips. Back this just about a quarter turn. Tighten it up, see what I got, and I'm good. Then it's gotta, I gotta put my new O-ring here on the water. Uh, you don't have to do it, but when I'm ordering parts, I like to do it because it's a pain to have one leaking in here, dumping oil in your transmission, I mean, dumping water in your transmission. So that's it, and I'll be doing, uh, this is, a, that's the banshee that I'm putting the clutch in, I mean, the, that clutch basket I showed you a while ago, I'll be doing it. But that's it. Leave your questions or comments. I've done a million of these. Well, maybe not. Probably not a million, but <laughs> done a few. One last thing. This one's clutch was bad, but also the arm, the rod, the adjuster was all buggered up and worn out to where you had to adjust it out a mile and you still couldn't get no clutch. And that's what happens when the clutch wears out. The more the clutch wears out, the farther this goes out. If yours is way out here and you're not getting clutch, well guess what? 
time to put a new clutch in it. And his feels awesome now with the new cable. I've only got two springs in it, but uh, it's very, there's no stiction, there's nothing. At least as good as new, because it was horrible. I can't even pull the cable by hand, the old one I took off. I can't pull it back and forth. Anyway, just watch your parts. It doesn't cost that much more if you're unsure to replace it. Make it right. These are very sweet bikes. So go ahead, get new good stuff in here. And don't try to Southern engineer because that ain't going to work. There, I, I, I promise you. <laughs> it just ain't going to happen.